update you on my phone call with the doctor. Don't ever try and fight me, guys. Personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying free. Wow, what a busy morning! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. You know when you just don't expect a morning to be so busy and then it ends up being so busy? I went to the gym this morning, I went for a swim and then, to be fair, it started off very calm, very chill. Swam for 40 minutes and then went in the sauna and steam room and then come home and then it was all guns blazing really. I had a phone call from the doctor and then literally within three seconds I had to jump on a phone call and have a meeting about the new 4849 stuff. And then I just had a phone call with Barclays Bank. <laughs> I haven't come off the phone in about three hours. Oh my God, it's quarter to three. I feel like every time I vlog, it gets to three o'clock and I'm like, what have I actually done? To be fair, feels like I'm not done much because I'm sitting here with my hair still wet, but I actually have done a lot. I washed my hair at the gym, well, after my swim this morning. So that was good. Otherwise that would have wasted more time today. And I need to dry it and then crack on with a little bit more work. But today is pretty much hands on deck with content, admin kind of stuff. I want to update you on my phone call with the doctor. So if you watched my last vlog where I said that I was seeing a doctor about my periods, I'll link that video down below because I went in depth in that video. So I will update you on the doctor's call because it was pretty interesting actually. And I'm actually shocked with the amount of people that messaged me after and said, I'm so glad you're talking about your periods and kind of bringing light to... A situation that people don't really talk about even though i don't really know the extent of my situation at the moment but i've just had a little bit more feedback from my blood test which i had a couple weeks ago now so i'll go through that in a second but whilst my hair's damp i'm just going to quickly run off and style it because it's um starting to dry quite rapidly and a lot of my products that i put in i put in with damp hair so let me go do my hair and then We'll talk about the doctors. So like I said, whilst my hair's damp, I like to put in my product and I'm gonna be using Hairburst products and I'm really excited to be teaming up with Hairburst for today's sponsor. So thank you so much to Hairburst. If you follow me on Instagram for a while, you'll know I'm a really big fan of Hairburst. I've used pretty much all their products, I think. Like their shampoo and conditioner. They have a product for eyebrows and eyelashes. Their gummies. This is definitely one of my favourite products by them. This is the Volume and Growth Elixir. And whilst my hair's damp, I put it all the way through. Root to tip. And this little guy helps with so many things. Like it says on the bottle, with growth. I'm actually trying to grow my hair out at the moment. Which is doing a really good job. So I was here not long ago actually and i've grown like that much of my hair in a year and i use this a lot so i would say this is one of the main reasons to thank and it's also so good for volume and like the glossy finish of your hair as well i also love a hair product that has uv heat and pollution protection which this has too which is really really good i think this is like my third bottle it's honestly a ride or die and like i said the main thing for me is hair growth and it's definitely definitely working before you know it guys i'll have my long hair back don't you worry so now i've put that in i'm gonna brush my hair through dry it and then i've got another product by them which i absolutely love it's this little guy this is really good for flyaways and again just leaving your hair super glossy and soft and smooth this is the hydrating hair smoothing balm all their products also smell really really good so i'll leave a link in the description if you want to shop and check out hair burst products uh -oh, baby don't check for me taking time out to be and live my life off screen taking time out to be and live my life okay so i actually got a couple clips whilst i was on the phone to the doctor so i will insert them now 
and I'm typing as I go. I'm not actually doing other things. I was making notes because when people tell me a lot of information, it kind of just goes in one ear and out the other because I'm trying to take in so much that I just forget. So I wrote loads of notes and I'll let you watch. And then, and then we've looked at um, a couple of your hormones as well. So estrogen and progesterone are the two main sort of female hormones. Um, the estrogen itself was just in the, um, within the uh, normal range. Um, okay. The progesterone essentially, which stimulates ovulation, um, was just lower than expected, uh, essentially. Um, now that can happen if, if it's taken, um, you, know, at, at, you know, early on um, within your menstrual cycle. You know, I think it's important that we do just get an opinion from a gynecologist for you. It's it's probably worthwhile um, before we can, you know, before we do that, that we do get a scan sorted out as well. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and do the referral for you anyway. Okay. Um, but I'll, I'll try and get a scan sorted out for you as well. Okay, then. All right, then. That makes okay. sense. Thank you. Uh, okay, then. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm not really clued up with everything luckily Cass's sister is almost a nurse she's in her final year so I've run a lot of this past her and she's actually working today so she's gonna ring me later but she'll kind of give me like a dumbed down version of everything that he kind of meant but from what I got from the conversation obviously I'm lower in progest progesterone which is a hormone, than like the average person. But my blood tests kind of tested like, let's say seven, eight things. I don't actually know in total. And he run through all of them and they all seemed pretty normal. But this was the only one that was like a bit iffy, which makes sense for the no periods. But then at the same time, he did say some people come off the pill and they don't have periods for up to a year anyway. How weird, Kelsey's just texted me. Um, so it could be multiple things, that's why, luckily in my circumstance right now, he is going to refer me, my doctor, and I know online some people don't get a referral that easily, I've seen people say to me, and I've read on people's stories before, because I follow quite a lot of people, Lucy Mae Finnegan, she's a good one, she always does like Topic Tuesdays, and people send in like their situations and a lot of people have said they've gone back to doctors multiple multiple times and never been referred so I feel very grateful that he's referring me to hopefully see the right people so I've got a referral to a gynecologist and also I'm going to be booked in to have a scan which will be a pelvic scan to check over my ovaries and everything like that I guess that's positive that I'm headed in the right direction to investigate a little bit further. It's something that I'm going to have to just keep you all posted on because obviously that's as much information as I got. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's like relevant to say. Oh, he said that the wait for an NHS appointment for a gynecologist can be around three months. I did mention that to Kelsey really briefly. Like I said, she's training to be a nurse and so she's working in the NHS and she said you'll be lucky if it's six months so we'll see if it ends up being a really long time i'll probably weigh up sorry guys my camera died so i've just moved closer to a plug but yeah i'm not against booking a private appointment i actually quite like the idea of having two opinions just from history in my family of gps getting things slightly wrong or completely wrong I know that's not always the case, but I don't think it's ever a bad idea to get a second opinion, third opinion, fourth opinion. I literally don't even know if there's anything wrong at the moment, but obviously it's something that we're going to have to wait and see. But yeah, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will leave the timestamp in the description for my last video. But in a really short nutshell, basically I haven't had periods in around 10 months now. And I came off the pill last year, well, 10 months ago. And we're just trying to figure out what's going on. I'm glad that I've took this step now. If this is a sign that one of you needed to book an appointment, to look into something, don't hesitate because obviously things can take time. E.g. waiting for a referral, waiting for another appointment. I'm glad I'm doing this now. Like I said before, I'm not 
in the position doing this where I'm like trying for a baby but at the same time this could be something touch wood it's not but I could be on a journey f for a little while trying to figure out what's going on and I'll keep you posted but this is going to be a weekly vlog we'll see where it goes I've got some fun things happening at the end of the week I'm going to Manchester I'm taking more with me so there'll be good things coming Hi guys, I'm not going to want to talk much because of the music, but I'm doing um, my second PT session of the week. I will time lapse some boxing. Let's go. figure out how to get my camera up right, right now and it's pouring with rain and wet and I'm sweaty and okay cool I don't want you guys to be able to see me anyway but I am just heading over to my nan's but Molly's having a little bit of a rubbish day so I'm gonna oh I'm gonna quickly go and grab a coffee for her and some snacks and drop them off and then this evening I think I'm seeing Molly again if she's feeling up for it we're going for dinner with georgia and emily i think bella and liv might be coming now so there's a bunch of us going for dinner later and i will check in with you all shortly but it's wednesday and there's not a lot going on today but my gym session was really good and i'm really really sweating after that which is always a good sign so ah uh, the boys finally got his last birthday present what do you think they fresh. They look good. Yeah, I'm glad I went for this colour actually. Yeah, nice. My knees them. just clicked so... No, do not crease them. <laughs> oh, they're jumpers in there. They look nice. They're sticky then. Are they good ones you got? Yeah, they're thick ones. Yeah. I've got you yeah. then. Love that. Yeah, might be, I like them. Might be a bit it. cold if you got like that. Huh? Might be a bit cold if you got like that. <sighs> Ew. Hi guys. Just checking in. Come out for dinner tonight. Ivy. That's scary. Big that was out. so formal. <laughs> It's because um, this is my first time I've checked in in about eight hours. Um, oh. Have I done much today? No. I'll let Molly talk you through her day. <laughs> no, I actually think that today could have been she, up uh, there. She got in the car and went, I honestly think today might be the worst day of my life. No. There's been some no, real you crappy need another days, day. but I have possibly had one of the worst days. Really? In my, we're here for in you. In my 23 years of living. But anyway, just want to let you know we're up to dinner. We're having a great time. Uh, we're also with Bella and Liv, but they're currently getting content. I was dropping Molly off and then I was like bye see you in the morning for the gym and she was like the gym's five minutes from me and it's like half hour 40 minutes from you why are you going home and I was like oh, it's all starting to make sense it's finally clear it's finally clear so I was like okay I've only got my gym stuff from today and we were like you know what we're all friends here <laughs> yeah we're getting up at eight that's why I'm here I actually don't feel very well, so maybe we cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd come and stay with Molly and Jessie. Look at my dog. On my Where girl. is it? Oh, Jessie. But we had a really nice night with the girls. We ate a lot of food, had good chats. Very deep chats, actually. Mm. 
We're like so we're joke. Madeline McCann got off to. Yeah, we all spoke about like our opinion on Madeline McCann. Someone which... in the world knows Comment down when below. Madeline McCann is. That's that's. No, they own. might they might be dead now. Maybe. There's someone in the world that. Did knew. you know? Did you know? Only three people in the world know the Heinz baked bean recipe. And when that one person from that three dies, they are allowed to pass it on to one more person. Hello, everyone. It's... What day is it? What day is it? Uh, Thursday. I'm going to go get a facial. God, I look crazy. Look at my hair. Oh, wow. I've actually had a really busy morning. I went for... Well, I spent the day with my nan and her best friend, Karen. That was fun. But it's like, it's havoc. It's like having two toddlers. And they'll watch this and laugh. But now some me time. It's very dark, isn't it? Wow. I'm going to have a facial and I need to get going because I've got 10 minutes to get there. So I'll take you along. I don't actually know what I'm going to have done, but I just feel like I am breaking out a little bit. And I've not had a facial in a really long time, so I'm going to go get one now. And I'll let you know what I'm having, talk you through it, etc. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need commenting at all because I know what It's been a few hours since my facial and let me find the best light. I look a little bit crazy. As you can see, I've got a lot of red lines and red marks. Oh, wow. You can see it really good there. But this is normal because obviously it literally had needles like dragging across my face. But I've had this done before. And straight away after I was feeling like so tight and so my neck as well. Basically, didn't even explain properly i had micro needling and there's loads of steps before it and after it i don't know the ins and outs it's probably best if you look it up to be honest but it's like an hour hour and 15 minute treatment um where you're like cleansed and to be fair i actually feel like i like, i hope that doesn't sound crazy but even though there's red lines all over my face i do feel like my skin already looks a lot more fresh and just better however it was very uncomfortable, I can't lie, especially my forehead. And when I got home straight away, I would have shown you straight away because I looked, whoa, I look a lot worse than this. It's gone down quite a lot, but my head was pounding. And I don't know if that was a mixture of, she said I my skin looked dehydrated actually. So I think I was dehydrated and also I'd just been attacked with like a hundred needles at once. It's not needles where you get like Botox and filler. It's just like little needles that puncture almost like the top of your skin obviously which causes the scratching anyway feeling good feeling fresh see a red mark on my nose i will show you my skin in the morning but already feeling way better highly recommend this treatment i think it's unreal and they recommend you get it every six to eight weeks which i do not do because it's quite expensive it's like 150 pound i don't know if that's the same everywhere but yeah it's good for collagen and apparently it's a secret to slowing down aging so we will see, but I probably get it done like once every three, four months. And it's a treatment that I really like having. So there we go. Getting up in the morning and li literally heading straight into London to get my hair done. So I will see you guys in the morning. Bye guys. Good morning all, happy Friday. Would it be right if we started a new day and I didn't say happy X? Happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? no also i just put a little bit of concealer under my eyes i should have waited and shown you my full face but to be honest i've literally just got concealer under my eyes so you can see all the red's gone down and like i said i feel pretty fresh so that facial was good i'm all ready i'm gonna head to the station now and go to london this is my outfit just in case anyone cares nasty girl this trench is so worth it it's a little bit pricey for nasty girl but i wear it so much and it's so oversized and cool this shirt is from boohoo 48.49 t-shirt zara leggings 48.49 socks 
coming soon and air force oh and these glasses are from key these are really old but again probably my most worn sunglasses ever it's very near the so sunny's grab an umbrella and get to the station and we're head to london made it to manny woo, 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 woo. where did she go where did you go here she is Hi. We've just got here, got to our room. Let me give you a quick room tour and then I'm gonna explain why we've not had a blow dry yet. So here's a little room tour. How cute is this? Hey Sydney, welcome from all of us. We hope you had the time of your life. Now it's time to chill and have fun. Love the Mac family. Oh, I love you guys. And then let's go in the bathroom first. Bathroom. You look gorgeous. So we're here for the launch of the new Mac Stack Mascara, which is on the bed out there. And then we've got some goodies here. Here's a shower. I like the black and black and white vibe in here. And then we've got the bed. And here is the lady of the moment, the Mac Stack. And then we've got a bag here. I'm not sure. Oh, I think, did you say there's robes in there? I think there's robes in them bags, isn't there? In these ones? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the new mascara. Very excited. Sure, I've heard a lot. I'm pretty sure it's where you you can build it and it doesn't get all clunky. So definitely we'll be trying this tonight because we're going out with Mac. We're actually going to a ball. Ooh. And what was, what was we supposed to do this morning? His lack of organisation was that from? Uh, I sent you a screenshot in the email and you didn't clock either. Fair. So we must get a blow dry. <laughs> This yeah. morning yeah. at 10 30. Yeah. Did we? No. <laughs> because I emailed and was like, on our way, and she was like, what? What's next week? I think there's a lack of communication here. Yeah. <laughs> she said, week. you didn't know your blow dress next week. I was like, okay, okay. we won't see you in 10 minutes. So um, basically, wrong Molly and was like, just get on the train, it's fine. We'll just be yeah, super sure. early to Manchester. <sighs> so we're going to go into the great outdoors and we're going to venture. I just love Manchester. I love the buildings, even though <laughs> I guess yeah. London is kind of lit like this, but yeah, I just like the vibe. I already feel happier that we're here. We're gonna, well, Molly thinks we should ring. I was gonna say, let's wander the streets and see if we can find a place to get our hair done. Wander the streets. But, <laughs> doesn't stop there. Mm -hmm. Look at these robes. So excited. They're really soft as well. They're from this brand, which is Daydreams. Oh, lovely name. We said we'd probably put these on and be like, you know what, we can't make it. <laughs> we're, in bed. we're in bed. We are ready. A little commotion for the dress. Ta-da! Now, some might say overdress, some might say a moment. Let me show you in some light. Come out. Hi, you got other good friend. Ta-da! The memo. Oh. The memo of the event is black, white, or silver. So we went for sparkles. Surprised I didn't go for black, actually. Yeah, me too, actually. Ta-da! Wow. It's a good time. Don't know if black blazer goes, but I'm gonna because it makes me more happy. I'm gonna put it on my shoulders. You think? Uh, yeah. Shoulders? Yeah. Right. Let's go. Uh, uh, oh. What? Yeah. Rinky. Oh. I don't know how to stop this thing, so it's gonna keep running. <laughs> you don't think this is too dressy? No. no. I've got a backup outfit. Nope. I love it. And I, I love, love it. I love it. With the shoes. Oh, wow. I don't need commenting at all because I know what I want. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart?
beautiful. Look at how cosy I am. To be fair, you look so upright. You oh should be where you're at. Oh my god, no. Have you seen how many pillows you're sitting up against? This what is... is that brown thing? What is that brown pillow? I don't know. I don't care. You're not comfy. You're not sitting upright like that. Oh, no, I am. Ready? This, Barrett, between us when we go to sleep. Cuddle, leg over. This is how I sleep every night. This is the second night this week we've slept in a bed together. Oh, how honoured are you? So, one pillow there, head down. This goes in between us. This leg over, and you cuddle it like that. And we're back home. Well, we're back in the in the room. It's currently nine minutes past twelve. Can you believe it? That's thanks to Mummy Jade and Daddy Steph, because. They kind of caught our eye at 10 and was like... Who it was? Hunger. Was Hunger it? Hit. 10? 10? No. Later, I think. About half 10? A few hours ago, we decided to go to the Alchemist. Alchemist? Alchemist. Never been. Media City. Media City! We've never been either. Okay. Basically, just like a load of buildings in the city. Media building, BBC, ITV. Yeah. The media city is what it says on the tin. Yeah, it was fun. It was a bit like, uh, I'd say, Canary Wharf. But a very, very low key version. I think. My ears are popped. So had some food, had some nibbles. We actually got loads of starters. It was really nice. And we just literally. Chatted. God, we chatted the ears off a donkey. Was it? Chat chatted the back ends off a donkey. Yeah. Um, we chatted. I don't remember eating much other than the calamari because that was unreal. But now we're back and do you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so no, content. Tonight, do you know what, Neva? Tonight I'm going to be in bed by 12. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah, it was content. We went out early though. We went out at quarter to seven. I was up at 7am. Do you know what I really loved? And I Go on. It was a really lovely touch. The little makeup set up that they had like the mirror and they had like that fixed class oh ma they do that stuff. a lot of events do they yeah i think that was really it's the really makeup nice events oh yeah i guess <laughs> well, well, have, have you only come to my have you only come to fashion stuff? stuff? yeah yeah so. see but um yeah it was a good time and beautiful venue beautiful loved venue. loved the touch of the ballerinas dancing mm -hmm. And anyway, I feel like this vlog is so long, so I'm not going to sit here and waffle anymore. But what cheers to the. Doing? Oh my god, it feels like Sunday. Oh, it feels like Saturday. What we, it feels like Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow. It's Friday. Day. So it's sat. Well, it's Saturday now, technically. My nail is so broke. Look. This is my biab. Oh my god, that's my nail. That's my real nail. Oh, sorry for squeamish. Sorry about that. It's like a wobbly tooth. What are we doing tomorrow? Going home. What are we doing? Getting up breakfast. Can you find out what breakfast is? Can you find that out? Oh. PA? I'm off the clock. <laughs> I'm out loud. Turn your OO on. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway, night guys, thank you. Oh, I need to be hearing that. How embarrassing. Well, I'm currently out of my bed. Oh. Oh. I have one earring in. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I just took it out. Wait, you took that out of that ear? Yeah. Where's that one? Did you take it out in the bathroom? I don't think so. Oh, you're sitting on it. Anyway, now guys, we will see you in the morning. I'll close out the vlog tomorrow because it makes sense to close out on a Saturday, I think, because this video is going to go up on a Sunday, so. Come say night. Bye. Come say night. Here she comes. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. Good morning. If you are still here and still getting through this vlog, we are at the end. It's Sunday. I'm just editing this back. It is a crazy, chaotic vlog, but I'm going to try and get it up now so i just want to close this video out and say thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely week i hope you enjoyed this vlog <laughs> honestly the difference in my appearance throughout this vlog is quite funny but thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>